Hello everyone, and today we're back into some more Lumion Legacy PvP. And today, it's going to be interesting because I'm not the one doing the PvP. It's actually going to be me watching a battle that happened in Aid's tournament in the top 8. It was the battle between Artem and Tundra. And at this point of the battle, Artem is winning. Tundra only has two Lumions left. And unfortunately, one of those Lumions is a Sidragon. And y'all are about to see some absolute nuts in and Legacy PvP because I said it once and I'm going to say it again. Obsidragon is busted. Let's get the clip ready. So, Obsidragon comes in. It's burned. So, it's probably going to fall asleep on the Vesperage. By the way, I have not... I only watched this battle once, so I'm kind of reacting to it as it goes, but... The range Vesperatu goes for the Dark Surge. Hoping for the flinch here. A flinch would actually be very nice, but look at that. A range Vesperatu. Like, the thing you also got to keep in mind is that range Vesperatu only has 80 attack. But you also got to keep in mind that it also has Awakening Stab. And it is on Obsidragon's weak range defense side. At least compared to its melee stab defense. I mean, its range defense is pretty high if you run very clever, which a lot of people do nowadays. But even then... It's absolutely insane. And then you get into a situation where you go into a supposed check in Luminami. I would love to say a counter for Obsidragon. That would be the dream. Unfortunately, there is no such thing as an Obsidragon counter in this game. Because even with Illuminami doing a peace of mind, you're about to see something nuts. So keep in mind, Artem... Luminami is his only Lumion left on his team that is a range attacker that can hit Obsidragon super effectively. The other two on his team is Vesperatu and Himber. So as you can see, Luminami does not want to give this Obsidragon any more melee defense. But it's already too late. The Body Crash comes in, does mega damage. Absolute mega damage. So the Luminami is going to have to do an attack. Or otherwise, this Obsidragon is just going to flat out beat the Luminami. So the Body Crash comes in. The Luminami barely lives. He flashes and flees. And 70 power does half. Plus one. Plus one. Against a plus zero Obsidragon. Did half. And I get that Artem could have probably set up a little bit more. But the problem was is that if... Artem would have attacked them with this plus one range defense. It would have done even less. It would probably would have done it to like here instead of here. So it's back into Vesperatu. There's kind of nothing Artem can really do here. He flat out cannot break the Obsidragon because the Obsidragon is just going to click sleep again. He goes back into the Himber here. Which I'm kind of shy. I don't know why he didn't just go back into Illuminami there. But hey, that's how it goes. And, of course, the Obsidragon goes back to sleep. So, yeah, the Obsidragon is back to sleep again. And it's just going to get all its HP back. There is nothing the Himber can do. And, honestly, Artem is now kind of stuck. I kind of don't know what he's actually doing here. Let's see. He is going for the quick sand. He's actually trying to trap the Obsidragon in. So, all right. He's trying to trap the Obsidragon in. But the problem is... It's not going to matter. Because Beast Slumber gives up Sidragon HP back. So, wow. It gets it into the green HP for a Lumion that can barely even hit it. It just doesn't work. Like, you cannot use a melee attacker to beat... You cannot use a melee attacker to beat up Sidragon. Although, this is a ranged timber. <laughs> it just... It literally tickled up Sidragon. Tickled. Tickled up Sidragon. Like, it literally did deadly squat. Deadly squat. Like, I, like, and it probably has invested in a ranged defense, too. And, of course, Obsidragon just one-shots the Ember because it's Obsidragon, and it basically just does everything in the world to win. So, it just one-shots the Ember. Goes back into Illuminami, trying to get Pivot out, because, yeah, the Illuminami basically dies, so he's trying to get as much... Pivot as it can before it comes back in. Vesperati comes back in, but a kind of great, great play there by Artem going into Vesperati here. But problem is, 
There is nothing Arctim can do against Obsidragon. The only way he can possibly win is if he can get a flinch here, but even then, the Vesperatu is out of energy. And even then, that would have still not too shot at the Obsidragon. He even got the flinch here, which is even sadder. He even got the flinch. Fortunately, Vesperatu's energy runs out. And I want you to guess what happens here. I want you to just make a guess. Wow! The Obsidragon be slumber again. And there's a couple things I could say about the Obsidragon be slumbering. I feel like there's a couple potential nerfs they should do. One, they should either nerf its they should either nerf its defense increase, give it so it's only a melee defense increase for beat slumber and not the range. So its range defense is still rather low. They are doing the resilience nerf, but I feel like it's just not gonna be enough. I, I just feel like it won't be enough. And two, I feel like Give the Ancient type an extra weakness in the long run. Because I think the Ancient typing defensively is pretty powerful. Because Ancient Brawler is amazing offensively. Also, I think you just saw a Flash and Flea. Didn't even do a fourth. Didn't even do a fourth to Upsidragon. That didn't even do a fourth. Yeah, Obsidragon is pretty busted. And unfortunately, the health of the Lumion Legacy PvP is really scarred because of this. But the thing that's unfortunate is that the game's health is scarred because of how nuts Obsidragon is. Like, 50% of teams uses an Obsidragon because of how powerful it is. If you want to win, you use an Obsidragon. That's how you win in Lumion Legacy Tournament. It's, Obsidragon is basically turned into the next Eclipse. And you already know how nuts Eclipse was. I do think Eclipse has fallen a little bit, mainly because one, the meta has changed, and two, Vesperatu getting slashed does help a lot. But it's not gonna, but it doesn't matter when another Lumion comes in, like an Obsidragon, and just goes absolutely nuts. And the fact that Obsidragon even has Drudge to get its speed up and melee attack up, basically is problematic double dance it's basically you double dance your speed and melee attack while also increasing your melee defense so the obsidian is just gonna flat out win here now after that drudge it will outspeed the luminami and it will just body crash it although i do think it should primal slash here because i i do feel like a vesperatu nope the luminami is accepting its fate Sidragon goes to the body crash, and it's game over. It is basically game over. Tundra Tundra wins, even though Artem was in the winning position for most of the fight until the Obsidragon comes in. Artem was in the winning position. Unfortunately, though, the Obsidragon comes in and ruins everyone's day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me analyzing how busted opposing Lumians are. And I do feel like I do feel like the Resilience nerf will hit Obsidragon pretty hard, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I do feel like they do need to have another Obsidragon nerf in the future. If it's it not getting a range defense increase with Beast Slumber, or, or if it's just removing Beast Slumber and making it Slumber instead. So, I feel like... Because, yeah, and Obsidragon is not the only Lumion that does this, but it's the most notable at the moment. And it basically makes Lumion Legacy pvp boring i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see y'all all later bye bye